Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. And now we are going to solve question number 5, exercise 11C. What is question C here? A profit of rupees 2500 is to be shared among 3 persons in the ratio 6 is to 9 is to 10. How much does each person get? Okay, here we have profit. What is the profit? 2500 rupees. Okay, so this is rupees 2500. This is share of 3 persons. Okay, what is the ratio? What is the ratio? 6 is to 9 is to 10. Okay, what is the ratio? Share of rupees 2500. Okay, among 3 persons. So, how much does each person get? Okay, how much does each person get? How much does each person get? So, see here, solution, given profit is equal to rupees 2500, first of all you have to write all the details which are given in this question, okay, this question which is given in this question, you have to write all the details, okay, so given profit is equal to rupees 2500, number of persons, number of persons in which this profit is to be divided, okay, how many persons do you have to divide profit? 3 persons, so number of persons is equal to 3, ratio, ratio here it is given 6 is to 9 is to 10. Now we will find that how much does each person get. So see here, as we know that first person will get, ठीक है? हमने पढ़ा था फॉर्मूले में कि first part is equal to first term of the ratio upon sum of terms of the ratio multiplied by whole quantity, ठीक है? अब ये समय में पता है, ठीक है? First term of the ratio क्या? First term six है, ठीक है? Sum of terms of the ratio क्या? In terms का sum, ठीक है? So sum of terms of ratio is twenty five. Whole quantity क्या? Here whole quantity is 2500. So now we can find that how much each person get. So see here, यहाँ पर देखिए, यहाँ पर मैंने लिखा here whole quantity is equal to rupees 2500. Whole quantity क्या? 2500 rupees. First term of the ratio, first term of the ratio is six. Second term of the ratio is nine. And third term of the ratio is ten. And sum of terms of ratio is equal to six plus nine plus ten is equal to twenty five. ठीक है? So see here. Therefore, first person will get. ठीक है? पहले पर्सन को क्या मिलेगा पहले वाले आदमी को क्या मिलेगा तो फर्स्ट पर्सन विल गेट इज इक्वल टू यहां पर देखिए क्या लिखा फर्स्ट टर्म ऑफ द रेशियो तो आपको लिखना फर्स्ट टर्म ऑफ द रेशियो 6 तो देखिए यहां पर 6 लिखा देन डिवाइडेड बाय डिवाइडेड बाय सम ऑफ टर्म्स ऑफ रेशियो सम ऑफ टर्म्स ऑफ रेशियो क्या 25 सो 25 देन मल्टीप्लाइड बाय होल क्वांटिटी ठीक है मल्टीप्लाइड बाय होल क्वांटिटी होल क्वांटिटी क्या है यहां पर 2500 और 2500 सो 6 डिवाइडेड बाय 25 मल्टीप्लाइड बाय 2500. अब देखिए 2500 को डिवाइड करिए 25 से. 25 into 100 जा 2500. So see here what are the remaining numbers? 6 into 100. ठीक है क्या नंबर बचा? 6 multiplied by 100. Where it is written 6 multiplied by 100 is equal to rupees 600. So first person will get rupees 600. Now see here how much the second person will get? Second person will get is equal to second term of the ratio divided by Sum of terms of the ratio. Here, second term of the ratio is 9 and sum of terms of the ratio is 25. So, 9 divided by 25, then multiplied by whole quantity. Whole quantity is here, it is given 2500. So, into 2500. Now, divide 2500 by 25. So, 2500 ja, 2500. Chik hai. Ab 2500 ko divide karin 25 se. So, quotient bilega 100. It means 25 into 100 ja, 2500. Chik hai. So, what are the numbers left here? 9 multiplied by 100. So 9 into 100 is equal to 900. So rupees 900. So the second person will get rupees 900. Third person will get is equal to third term of the ratio 10 divided by sum of terms of the ratio 25. Then multiplied by whole quantity. Whole quantity is 2500. Okay. So here we will get 25 into 100. 2500. So what are the remaining numbers? 10 into 100. ठीक है यहाँ देखिए 10 multiplied by 100 ये बचा ठीक है तो 10 multiplied by 100 is equal to rupees 1000. So third person will get 1000 rupees. 